All right, if you're going to run the short yardage goal line package out of heavy flex, this is how you would do it. You're always going to start off running the follow. And the follow out of heavy flex, what it does is it puts the receiver, moves the receiver in three and a half feet, and he becomes the left tackle. He'll put his right hand down at the heels of the center. He's three and a half feet away from the guard, and he is eligible. The left tackle comes over and becomes the heavy tackle, three and a half feet away from the offensive tackle, left hand down at the heels of the center. The receiver's flexed off the heavy tackle, three and a half feet away with his outside foot up and his inside foot at 45 degrees. Nobody else has to move. The follow play, the blocking's the same for the cylinder. It's the same as triple right. It's an ace call here. The guard in the center double the one technique. The backside scoops, he runs his belly button to the hip of the center. He runs his belly button to the hip of the guard. For the heavy tackles and the A-back, it's the same as dive right. The tackle is going to veer B-gap. The A-back has the C-gap, and the heavy tackle has the D-gap. So the tackle veers inside and has the mic. If the five technique could cross his face somehow, he shouldn't, but if he ever could, the tackle would have him, and then the A-back would go vertical, and he'll block the mic while the heavy tackle fans the D-gap player. The receiver is going to crack the safety. The B-back is going to run his patch just like he does on triple, but he's going to collision the opposite colored jersey, the first opposite colored jersey he sees that's unblocked. And then the quarterback's going to jump in the A-gap, wait for the B-back to clear, and follow the B. The back side A runs the pitch, although there is no pitch phase because it's simply a quarterback follow. Now, if the A-gap is open, if the void is in the A-gap, everything stays the same, except now the quarterback just sneaks it. So the guard and tackle have a deuce call because the action key is a three technique. So they'll deuce that. Center gets his backside knee through the crotch of the mic. The backside scoops. The playside receiver cracks the safety. The B-back has, or excuse me, the A-back has the C-gap. The heavy tackle fans the D-gap. The B-back runs his path off. The double team gets vertical. Blocks the first opposite color jersey that's unblocked. But here the quarterback simply sneaks the ball because, well, the A-gap avoided. There's lots of green grass in front of him there. Now, if the A and the B-gaps are plugged, the quarterback's going to say, kick, kick, kick. And what kick, kick, kick means is I can't run inside, so we're going off tackle. So here's what happens here. On kick, 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 we'll start with the action. The action is a three technique. So the guard makes a deuce, deuce, deuce call. They get their knee through the crotch of the three and remove the three. Center gets his backside knee through the crotch of the mic. The backside scoops. The heavy tackle and the receiver block down. So the heavy tackle will block down on uh, the backer. And the receiver will block down on the down man from him. The A-back will load it, so he's going to block the mic to the free safety. He loads it and blocks the mic to the free safety. The B-back will kick the first guy off the receiver's block. The A-back will, the cadence is down, ready, sit, hut. On the wine, ready, he'll hammer, take four diagonal steps, and he'll lead up through the hole. He'll lead up through the hole, a little wider to scale there. And he leads for the quarterback. He'll block the first opposite color jersey he sees that's unblocked. It could be a corner, it could be safety, it could be the mic running over the top. The quarterback's going to open flat. He's going to run off the receiver's block. He's going to turn up and score. And you've got 10 blockers and a quarterback. So that, if you want to run heavy flex as the goal line package, that's how you would do it. I had a client that asked me about this, and there's the answer. All right, coaches, if you're looking to install the triple option offense the right way the first time, call me at 570-332-0265, 570-332-0265. i got a camp spot available right in the middle of July. Other than that, I'd have to go uh, the first full week in August. So give me a call, and the triple option will get installed the right way the first time. We'll talk soon.